edge computing is being driven by the evolution of the applications and the evolution of the customers using the applications. We're seeing a huge demand in video. The video needs to stream, which requires latency. It also needs to be stored. Uh, we're also seeing a huge demand in sensors and data analytics out at the edge with IoT. This all needs to be pushed out further into facilities of compute facilities and storage facilities uh, that can drive that latency out of the network. Dart Points focuses on the edge. And our definition of edge is physically on site with the customer. And we call that edge infrastructure. Edge infrastructure and edge computing are on a collision course. What this means is you have customers that are putting their equipment that maybe ultimately they do a technical refresh or migrate into some sort of managed cloud facility that is located on site because that's where they're comfortable. They're also opening themselves up to service providers on content delivery, as well as other different types of applications that are ultimately pushing themselves out of the edge interconnects, the edge co-locations, and obviously the edge storage and compute facilities that are located more regionally. By focusing on the edge infrastructure and placing the micro data center, highly available critical infrastructure on site, not only does it meet the needs of the enterprise customers at that location, but it's also creating a nice landing ground for other carriers, other providers that are looking for that same critical infrastructure directly analogous to a cell tower on site where they can actually put their equipment that costs quite a bit of money and they want it highly available to be able to service those enterprise customers at that location. Micro data centers, edge data centers, and traditional core data centers are all going to keep evolving due to edge compute uh, together. They're all quite complementary to each other, whereas core data centers are more like the trunk of the tree, the edge data centers are more like the branches on the tree, and the micro data centers are much like the, the leaves on the tree. The core is bringing stuff out to the customer. The micro data centers bring customers into the core. So edge compute is going to keep evolving at each one of these, and an application that might begin at the core will ultimately reside at the micro data center, and then a new application will start in the core and ultimately evolve out, and you will see this cycle repeat itself in typically four to seven years, and each will keep moving up the ladder with each other. The key business drivers to the edge market is going where the customers are located and bringing those applications to the customer and leveraging the rest of the network for different types of applications that they might need to support their current applications and their current business drivers. So by taking this, this edge infrastructure, critical infrastructure, compute in a lot of ways, a lot of storage, and placing it closer and closer to the customer is going to drive their latency down and also reduce their costs, which will create more evolution of the applications and open up more doors uh, for different types of use cases. Edge compute will change the look of the critical infrastructure out at the edge. And it'll look quite differently from that which is at the core. It's going to be more focused on the software-defined data center in which you are focused more on the interconnectivity of your applications rather than on the critical infrastructure that is physically, mechanically, electrically, physically supporting the application. So what you'll find is that resiliency will be based on where your application is and in how many smaller facilities, interconnected facilities, than in one centralized facility or maybe two centralized facilities that are heavily reliant upon redundant infrastructure. Within the next three years, you're going to see a heavy push of storage closer and closer and closer to the user. And you're going to see separation between the storage files and the compute files, whereas the data analytics are going to be driven through a hierarchy in terms of what can be simply analyzed out at the edge versus those that need to do a little bit deeper dive in the core. And where they store that data will depend on where they fall within that hierarchy. So you're going to find these facilities growing and growing, not only in size and power, but also with regards to connectivity. And they will keep to driving either from the core in expansion or at the edge at new sites.